Thank you for joining our webinar presented by Bristol Myers Squibb and the DCM Foundation on hope for MYH and TTN DCM patients. I'm Greg Griff, president of the DCM Foundation. Founded in 2017, our mission is to provide hope and support to DCM patients and family members through research, advocacy, and education. We would like to thank our generous sponsor, Bristol Myers Squibb, for their important work in the field of genetic DCM. Our presenter today is Dr. Neil Lakdawalla, a cardiovascular medicine specialist at Brigham and Women's Hospital. He is also at Harvard Medical School. He received his medical degree from the University of Texas and completed a residency and chief residency in internal medicine at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center. Dr. Lakdawalla is board certified in internal medicine, cardiovascular disease, and advanced heart failure and transplant cardiology. He is actively working in genetic cardiomyopathy in clinic and research. Thanks, Greg. Dilated cardiomyopathy, which is also called DCM, is a disease of the heart muscle that affects the main pumping chamber, the left ventricle of the heart. In this disease, the left ventricle becomes weak and cannot pump blood to meet the body's needs as well as a healthy heart can. In general, the heart becomes enlarged or dilated as the disease progresses. The symptoms of DCM include shortness of breath, fatigue, fainting, swelling of lower extremities, and palpitations. DCM has many causes and can be acquired or inherited. Inherited means your parents passed a variant in a gene associated with the disease according to you. This genetic variant is also referred to as a mutation. This type of DCM is called genetic DCM. Research has been ongoing to look for the specific genetic link to cardiomyopathy, including DCM, and to explore how the genes cause or contribute to the various types of disease. The true numbers for how common DCM is and the proportion of DCM that is genetically caused are not fully known. Current estimates are that up to 1 in 250 people have DCM. Amongst patients with DCM, about one-third have inherited the disease as a familial condition. While genetic causes of DCM can be identified in patients with familial disease, genetic mutations are also present in patients without a clear family history of DCM. Current research has identified over 30 different genes associated with this disease, but the majority of causes are linked to 12 genes. TTN and MYH7 are two genes that are affected in DCM. It is estimated that TTN mutations account for 12 to 25% of DCM, and MYH7 mutations account for approximately 5% of DCM. From the TTN gene, a protein called Titan is created. From the MYH7 gene, the protein named beta-myosin heavy chain is created, and both proteins play important roles for heart muscle contraction or for the pumping ability of the heart. Mutations in these genes impair the ability of the heart to function properly. At this time, there are no approved medications that target these mutations to help increase the pumping action of the heart, improve the heart's function, or slow disease progression. Danacamptive is an investigational drug that Bristol-Myers Squibb, BMS, is studying for this disease. In previous studies in humans and animals, danacamptive enhanced contraction of the heart muscle. Currently, BMS is studying danacamptive in an ongoing clinical trial in the U.S. and parts of Europe in patients with DCM caused by MYH7 and TTN mutations. This trial aims to further evaluate the safety and cardiovascular effects of danacamptive on the heart's pumping ability. BMS is studying how danacamptive might work for patients who have DCM caused by mutations in these two genes. Patients who qualify for the study will need to meet these following requirements. They need to have stable primary DCM due to either MYH7 or TTN gene variants and be 18 to 80 years of age at screening. If there are family members who have DCM and the exact same gene variant, up to three total family members can participate in this study. In order to qualify, patients cannot have any of the following criteria, but not limited to any other genetic variants causing DCM other than MYH7 or TTN, any significant structural heart abnormalities, such as valvular heart disease, unstable 
heart conditions and or the need for frequent treatments in clinic to maintain heart failure stability. Certain abnormal blood tests which may prevent safe and effective study conduct. You can find more information about the study on the clinicaltrials.gov website by searching for Dana Camptive. You can also find the active study sites contact information on this website. You can also email to clinical.trials at bms.com to learn more information about this study. We appreciate your interest in this study. Thank you.